Hey guys! This is Priscilla. This is Sunny. And today's video is about Mandarin versus Cantonese. Since we have more and more Mandarin learners in the world, the first question pops up in your mind might be Should I learn Mandarin or Cantonese? Cantonese! No way! <laughs> and the short answer is If you want to speak with the most, uh, the maximum number of Chinese speakers in the world, you should learn Mandarin because Mandarin is the official language and like whenever you are watching TV shows or radio, it's all in Mandarin. Um, but if you want to survive better in Hong Kong, Macau, even Guangdong province, it's better to learn how to speak Cantonese. You seriously use the word survive? Yes, survive. <laughs> because they don't speak good Mandarin, it's better you can speak Cantonese. Okay, making sense. And lots of you might also be confused that what's the difference and what's the similarity between these two languages. So for similarity, uh, both languages are spoken in China, right? Yeah. And another thing quite similar might be uh, like in, in written forms when we write something, uh, it's kind of quite similar. We can understand into each other. Yeah. And it's very like uh, mutual, intelligible. Yeah, mm -hmm. and actually in mainland China, people use simplified characters but in Hong Kong, Macau, like Taiwanese, they use traditional characters which is more, way more complicated <laughs> Yes, way more complicated, I can't, I can't read that and like for the differences, mm -hmm. I think uh, it's totally different when Sunny is speaking or like talking to her family uh, on her phone it's Holy God, it's another <laughs> language. <laughs> yes, yeah, totally different. They, they feel like I'm speaking a foreign language instead of Chinese. Yes, and uh, for most of you, like cracking tones might be the hardest uh, problem for you. Like for us Mandarin, we only have uh, four tones. Please pay attention to the word only. But for Cantonese, we have six tones and nine sounds. <laughs> right? Insane! So, to help you have a better understanding of the difference mm -hmm. between Mandarin and Cantonese, let's see some like following Chinese phrases in Mandarin and Cantonese. Mm. Great. For example, the basic greetings at Hello, Ni Hao in Mandarin. In Cantonese, we say Lei Ho. Okay. And I can speak Chinese. 我会说中文. 我会说广东话. 会听不会说,他也不会说讲 <laughs> You know this word right? <laughs> yeah, many people, they, if you ask them do you speak Cantonese, they will say "他也不会说讲 <laughs> which means I can't understand it, but right. I don't speak the language Right, and like some other words might be like uh, Thank you, 谢谢 多谢,唔该 in Cantonese mm. And like goodbye, 再见 Bye bye Oh, you guys are so international. Yeah, <laughs> we don't we don't make any difference when saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, for international, you win. And like for other phrases, I often use uh, uh, I want to drink beer. 我要啤酒. Uh, are you bad out? Okay, I, I should learn that word. <laughs> Teach me later. Yeah, you're a big fan of beer, I know that. And another phrase you might often use in China might be uh, 太贵了, too expensive. 贵得仔. Mm, and you should ask the cheaper price, you should say uh, 便宜一点. 便宜了. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> and the last one, uh, oh my goodness, in Mandarin that would be 我的天哪, or you can say 我的妈. <laughs> My mother? <laughs> or the Maya? Yeah, oh my mother. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, in Cantonese, we actually say oh my god a lot, but if you want to say in Cantonese, you can say bai la. Bai yes. la. Oh shit, something bad happened. <laughs> okay, B. <Bye. laughs> okay, that's it for today's video. Have you decided which language I'm going to learn in later? So. Mm. I think I would choose to learn Mandarin instead. <laughs> Much yeah. easier. Yes, because we only have like four tones and we use simplified Chinese characters and can speak to most of the people in China. Yes, that's so true. So that's it for today's video. If you like our video, please follow our WeChat. <laughs>